Delhi being in a semi-arid zone primarily depends on the neighboring state to fulfill 90% of its water requirements for its residents. And because Delhi has witnessed an unprecedented heat wave, which has resulted in severe shortage of water. And I believe that all the governments must prioritize finding solutions rather than engaging in accusations. The governments must work collaboratively and uh, regardless of political affiliations, they must ensure that the citizens of Delhi must not suffer and the Haryana government must release water. This MOU was signed exactly 30 years back on May 12, 1994 between the co-basin states of Delhi, including Haryana, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. And at that time, 30 years ago, the population of Delhi was 1 crore. Now it is more than 2 crore. Haryana, which has a population of 3 crore, receives 3,000 cusacks of water, while, Del while Delhi only receives 1,100 cusacks of water. So we have made a humanitarian request through the Upper Yamuna Canal Board to the Haryana government to release water to Delhi. Garji ji, uh, questions were raised about what has the Delhi government done to increase the capacity. I must put it straight that the capacity of water has increased from 805 million gallons per day to 1005 million gallons per day. That is an increase of 18%. Is the Congress spokesperson raised question about rainwater harvesting. The Delhi government has mandated installation of rainwater harvesting in all the premises. In fact, out of the 9,688 government premises, 7,121 government premises have rainwater harvesting. We are giving 10% rebate to the citizens of Delhi who are implementing this in their house. And also a penalty of 1.5% if they cause any delay. So we have done a lot to augment the water resources. In fact, we are working on building more than 64 artificial lakes more than 35 have been built and 24 when, are in when, progress. When, you... First of all, I would like to correct uh, uh, Professor Anjal ji. He said that 60% of water is being leaked. Uh, Mr. Anjal, if 60% would have been leaked, then it would have created a flood-like situation in Delhi. It is the non-revenue water which is not built. It is available for utilization. As far as tanker mafias are concerned, it is on the Haryana side on which the Delhi Jal Board lacks jurisdiction. That has, that has been very specifically stated in the affidavit filed by the Delhi government before the Honorable Supreme Court. So it is for the Haryana government to explain that why are they not taking, taking any action against the uh, tanker mafias. And ultimately, when there is such a crisis, when the people are in distress, then our focus must shift from these political rivalries to humanitarian efforts. Rather than politicizing this issue, right. Collaboratively, Gandhi, all the governments like must work me. and ensure yeah. that the Delhi people must not face such crisis. No, absolutely. And the final like word to, to you, Professor Prakash.